Hello again, everybody. Travis Simlinger here from Progressive Coaching in Zurich, Switzerland. And today I want to talk about relationships. And specifically, I want to talk about three levels of relationship. Okay, taught in strategic intervention coaching. And also the main reason, the main reason that relationships break down. Okay, and what we can actually do about this. So let's start with the three levels of relationship. So the first level of relationship is baby love, baby love. Okay, so what do I mean by baby love? Well, this is when a person or both partners in the relationship, they demand love, just like a baby does. They want love, but they don't have to do anything so they feel to get that love. So they demand love just like a baby does. And if they don't get love, then they cry, you know, like a baby does, metaphorically speaking. Okay, they complain or maybe they um, do some actions to make the other person realize that they are there. They want attention, they crave attention and that they are not getting the love that they are demanding. Okay, that's level one. That's demanding love. Okay, level two in a relationship is horse trading. Okay, horse trading. Otherwise known as, as Tony Robbins likes to put it, whoring prostituting oneself okay whoring you heard right why is level two referred to as this this is be when the partners in a, in a relationship act as if it is a transaction as if love is a transaction as if what that what i mean is this is when the person says well i will love you i will give you love if you give me love i'll treat you really well if you treat me really well okay this transaction and what happens is this is when a stalemate, when, when couples get into um, disagreements, if needs are not being met, which I'm going to talk about shortly, this is the level where the stalemate occurs because each partner is waiting for the other person to go first. So nothing goes anywhere. People remain stuck on this level and very quickly fall back into level one kind of relationships, which then... Um, it's not very far for the relationship dissolve then, to dissolve then because partners get resentful and things like this. Now, level three. Level three love is different. This is when we give love because we want to make our partners happy. And that's it. Okay, so there's no score, score checking. There's no um, waiting for the other person to go first. We go first. We give love because it feels good to give love. Okay, in fact, you can't. Feel love without giving love. You can't experience love. The way to experience love is to give love. So if you're not giving love, then you're really punishing yourself. Of course, you have baseline standards of things that you're not going to put up with in a relationship. That's a different conversation. But very often what causes a relationship to break down is because needs are not being met in a relationship. Okay, so this level three, we, we give love no matter what because it feels good. Not waiting for the other person to go first and getting stuck in a stalemate. This is level three. And we do this by meeting the other person's needs. So what do I mean by meeting needs? So this is the second part of what I wanted to talk about in today's session. Okay, so according to strategic intervention uh, theory, if you like, six, six basic universal human needs based on Maslow's human needs, but maybe going a level deeper than that because it refers to the value or the emotion that is what is actually driving someone to get a certain need. In any case, the six human needs are certainty, okay, variety, significance, love and connection, growth, and contribution. We all find a way to meet these needs especially the first four universal needs, certainty, variety, significance, and love and connection. But this is behind. If you look at activities, behaviors that people do, this is, and you ask what need are they trying to meet by this behavior, these six, one of these six human needs will be behind that behavior. They, they, every single human, human behavior uh, can be explained by a desire for the person to meet one of these six universal human needs. Okay, but we can meet them in quality ways and low quality ways. Okay, we have different vehicles for meeting 
the needs. But I don't want to do a huge session on, on six human needs. I'll do another session on that. But I want to talk about how this relates to a relationship and how we can use the six human needs to actually turn a relationship that is having big problems, big challenges around. We can turn this around very quickly. So the way to do this is one thing I one of the first things I do, one of the foundational things I do in when I'm coaching couples is I have them to ask each other on a level of one to ten, how am I how am I meeting your need? All of them. Okay. So we start with how am I meeting your need for certainty? On a level of one to ten, how much do I meet your need? Uh, how certain are you that that I love you, that I'm there to support you? that I will do anything for you, that I care about you, that you are number one in my life, that I, you and me are a team, it's not me, it's we, and I'm there for you through thick and thin. How certain are you of that? How much certainty do I give you? The person tells you their score. Then the next one, how much variety do I give you? To the level out of one and 10, but 10 is your level of variety that you want. How much excitement do I bring? How much positive surprise, how much positive variety do I bring to the relationship? Out of 10, how fulfilled are you with the amount of variety that I bring to the relationship? And the person scores out of 10. Okay, the next one, significance. How significant do I make you feel? How important do you feel in the relationship? Or do you just feel like a cook, a cleaner, a, a housewife or a houseman? How significant do you feel in this relationship? How significant do I lead you to feel in this relationship? Again, out of 10, we do that for the other ones. Love and connection, growth, contribution. And then the other person, we swap roles, right? So and we see the scores of how each partner is meeting each other's needs in the relationship. And I've never, ever had a coaching session with couples where there was a score of about a, a seven or above for each of the human needs from each partner and the, because it just doesn't and, they, and they've come to me with a challenge absolutely not because no one says yes this person's meeting my my six universal human needs at, at an eight nine or a ten it's absolutely terrible i've just got to get out of this relationship it's toxic it doesn't work like that if the person is not meeting the needs that's why there is a challenge in the relationship that's the root of the issue So this is why we do this exercise in the beginning and then the homework task before the next coaching session is you spend the next seven days or whatever it is between sessions, 14 days, both partners trying to, well, we ask each other, how can I meet these needs first? What can I do to meet these needs? And the partner tells them, okay, they got the recipe to meet each other's needs and then they make an agreement in the session there and they spend the time between the sessions trying to meet each other's needs. Not waiting for the other person to go first. Hey, leaders go first. They both want to lead themselves. They both want to lead themselves and each other through reciprocity to a flourishing relationship. I mean, if you have a relationship that is happiness and built on trust and where you bring out the best in each other, geez, you've got a huge part of a high-quality life sorted, yeah? And this is a foundational skill to do that. Understanding needs, meeting each other's needs, not waiting for the other one to go first, getting stuck in a stalemate. This is where relationships go to die, to level two and then level one, and then it's gone. I hope that was helpful, everybody. If it was, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like so that more people can benefit from this content and look forward to bringing you more videos on relationships started a new playlist on relationships and more content in the near future. Thank you, everybody. Cheers.